I think it's a board game, but since I see this little A Colors logo, I think things are gonna get a lot difficult. I feel like it, this is like a surprise, like a trick question. Can I cheat? Um, a board game? I think it's a board game, but since I see this little A Colors logo, I think things are gonna get a lot difficult and very interesting here. Hey Google, roll the dice. You got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It says Animal Kingdom. Which pink colored bird can stand on one leg? Hmm, a pink colored bird. Ostrich, swan, chicken and flamingo. Chickens aren't pink, not swans either, or ostriches. So it has to be flamingos. Hey Google, which pink coloured bird can stand on one leg? Flamingos. On the website Britannica.com, they say they eat with their heads upside down, sleep with their heads on their backs, and often rest by standing for long periods on one leg. Hey Google, roll a dice. It's two. For a second, I thought that was quite realistic. Like as if it was going to pop out and then I could roll it by myself. How many queen bees are there usually in a beehive? There is one, two, three, and four. I think it's one because girls fight a lot when they're, when they're in power. Hey Google, how many queen bees are there normally in a beehive? One queen. On the website canr.oodle.edu, they say, a colony normally has only one queen, whose sole function is egg-laying. The bees cluster loosely over several wax combs, the cells of which are used to store honey and pollen and to rear young bees to replace old adults. People also ask me, how do bees decide who is queen? Want to hear the answer? No, thank you. Okay, then. Wow, that's a very informative answer. FBI here. Hey Google, roll the dice. It's three. Okay, one, two, three. Wonders of nature. Is it true that in some countries there are times when the sun never sets? Hmm, yes it is true or no it is not true. I think it is true because when it's in Antarctica, when it's cold, I think it's always dark, I'm pretty sure. Let's ask Google. Hey Google, is it true that in some countries there are times where the sun never sets? Norway. On the website visitnorway.com, they say Svalbard is the place in Norway where the midnight sun occurs for the longest period. Here, the sun doesn't set between the 20th of April and the 22nd of August. People also ask me, in which country sun never sets? Want to hear the answer? No, thank you. All right. Yay, we got it correct. Hey, Google, please roll a dice. You rolled four. One, two, three, four. The science lab. How many meters make up a kilometer? 10 meters, 100 meters, 500 meters, 1,000 meters. So what do you think the answer is? Um, 1,000? Hey Google, how many meters make up a kilometer? One kilometer is 1,000 meters. Hey. hey Google, roll the dice. You roll two. One, two. Animal Kingdom. Are koalas bears? A. Koalas are the strongest bears. B. Koalas are the slowest bears. C. Koalas are the only bears that can climb trees and D, koalas are not bears. Hmm. I think koalas are bears because I always hear everyone going, look, it's a koala bear. Let's ask Google. Hey Google, are koalas bears? On the website www.org.au, they say koalas aren't bears, they're marsupials. While they might look bear-like with their round ears and big black nose, they actually share more characteristics with other marsupials like the wombat. People also sometimes ask me, why is koala not a bear? 
Do you want to hear the answer? No, thank you. All right. Oh no, I should have known that as a fellow Australian. Hey Google, please roll a dice. It's three. One, two, three. Wonders of nature. What is deforestation? A. Deforestation is a destruction of forests due to human activities. B. Deforestation is a natural life cycle of trees and forests. Deforestation is the conservation of animal habits. D. Deforestation is the rapid rise of sea levels. I think it's A because D means basically negative and I don't think it has anything to do with the sea levels. Hey Google, what is deforestation? According to Wikipedia, oh, deforestation sure. or forest clearance is the removal of a forest or stand of trees from land that is then converted to non-forest use. Hey Google, roll the dice. It's five. One, two, three, four, five. Wonders of nature. Can anything live under the deepest part of the ocean where there is no sunlight? A. Yes, there are things living in the deepest parts of the ocean. And B. No, nothing can survive in the deepest parts of the ocean. Hmm, I remember there is this fish called a blobfish and it lives at the very bottom of the ocean. Let's ask Google. Hey Google, can anything live under the deepest parts of the ocean where there is no sunlight? On the website amnh.org, they say, obviously, organisms who live at the deep sea vents can't rely on the sun. Instead, many of them rely on the chemicals that come out of the vents. The process they use to create food is called chemosynthesis instead of photosynthesis. People also ask me, can anything survive in the deepest part of the ocean? Want to hear the answer? No, thank you. Hey Google, please roll the dice. You got two. One, two. Animal kingdom. Are walruses bigger than sea lions? How am I supposed to know? A. Walruses are bigger. B. Sea lions are bigger. C. Same size. I'm not really sure because I don't really examine a walrus up close. So I think that walruses are bigger than sea lions. Hey Google, walruses bigger than sea lions. On the website nps.gov, they say, walrus are the largest pinnit. Seals, sea lions, and walruses belong to a group of marine mammals called pinnipeds, referring to their flippered feet. Okay, my brain is processing information right now. Hey Google, roll the dice. You got four. One, two, three, four. My very first science lab. Are there more than one million galaxies in the universe? Oh no. Um, A is yes they are and B is no there aren't. I think there are? Let's ask Google. Hey Google, are there more than one million galaxies in the universe? On the website bigthink.com, they say, the exact number of galaxies out there has been a mystery, with estimates rising from the thousands to the millions to the billions, all as telescope technology improved. If we made the most straightforward estimate using today's best technology, we'd state there are 170 billion galaxies in our universe. People also sometimes ask me, how many million galaxies are there in the universe? Do you want to hear the answer? No. Hey Google. Please roll the dice. It's two. Another animal kingdom. Who was smarter between a Spinosaurus and a T-Rex? A. Spinosaurus was smarter. B. T-Rex was smarter. Based on the movies, T-Rexes always were attracted to meat and they didn't really walk around much. So I think that a Spinosaurus was smarter, so I choose A. Hey Google. Is a T-Rex or a Spinosaurus smarter? On the website a-z-animals.com, they say, the Spinosaurus was heavier, taller, and longer than the T-Rex, but the latter's bite was far more powerful. The Spinosaurus was also believed to be semi-aquatic, but the T-Rex lived solely on land. Lastly, the T-Rex was far more intelligent than the Spinosaurus and had more acute senses. Oh, that's People also surprise. sometimes ask me, was Spinosaurus smart? Do you want to hear the answer? No, thank you. 
But that kind of surprised me because movies really make T-Rex seem very, um, duh. Hey Google, roll the dots. It's one. One. Culture land. From which country was Hawaiian pizza first invented? Hawaii. <laughs> A is Hawaii, B is Portugal, C is Canada, and D is Nigeria. For some reason, I feel like it's Nigeria, but in the name, it's Hawaiian pizza. But then I feel like it's Portugal. <laughs> Hawaii. Hey Google. From which country was Hawaiian pizza invented? Canada. On the website gosney.com, they say, well, to answer your question, oh his gosh. name is Sam Panopoulos, a Greek immigrant who moved to Canada in 1954. He created the first Hawaiian pizza at his restaurant, Satellite, located in Chatham, Canada. Like the whole I also of found an answer to this question. Why is Hawaiian pizza called Hawaiian? Do you want to hear it? No, thank you. You are, as always, very welcome. So nice. Hey Google. Please roll the dice. You got five. One, two, three, four, five. Wonders of nature. Which country has the most number of tornadoes in a year? A. Russia. B. China. C. USA. D. Norway. I think it's Russia. Hey Google. Which country has the most tornadoes in a year? The United States. According to Wikipedia, the United States has the most tornadoes of any country. Many of these form in an area of the central United States known as Tornado Alley. This area extends into Canada, particularly the Prairie Provinces and Ontario. Activity in Canada, however, is less frequent and intense than that of the US. Hey Google, roll the dice. You got one. What? Culture land. How do you say hello in Spanish? A. Hola. B. Bonjour. C. Ciao and D, chin chow. My sister takes Spanish lessons and she always says, hola. So I'm pretty sure it's hola. Hey Google, how do you say hello in Spanish? In Spanish, that's hola. Anything else you want me to translate? Hola. No, thank you. Funky. Huh? <laughs> ¿Qué, qué, qué? ¿Qué, qué, qué? ¿Qué, qué, qué? I don't know. Abandonar. Abandonar. Hey Google. Please roll the dice. You rolled one. One. Culture Land. Wimbledon is an iconic sports tournament for which sport? A. Volleyball. B. Baseball. C. Table Tennis. D. Tennis. First thing I'm thinking is who would name it Wimb Wimbledon? Um, Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Sorry, excuse me. Table Tennis? Hey Google. Wimbledon is an iconic sport tournament for what sport? On the website chaseyoursport.com, they say Wimbledon is the oldest tennis tournament in the world, which started way back in the year 1877. I also found an answer to this question. Is Wimbledon the most important tennis tournament? Do you want to hear it? No, thank you. Okay. Hey Google, roll the dice. You rolled six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Animal Kingdom. How many more bones do giraffes have in their necks than humans? A. Giraffes have the same number of neck bones as humans. B. Giraffes have one more. C. Giraffes have two more. And D. Giraffes have three more bones. I feel like it, this is like a surprise, like a trick question. I feel like I know giraffes have really long necks but it could just be their spine. So I think they have the same amount as humans. Hey Google, how many more bones do giraffes have in their necks than humans? On the website clevelandzoosociety.org, they say, even though the neck of a giraffe can be eight feet long and weigh up to 600 pounds, they only have seven neck vertebrae, the same number of neck bones that humans have. Woo! Sometimes ask me, what animals have the same number of neck bones as humans? Do you want to hear the answer? No, thank you. Woo! Okay. Hey Google, please roll the dice. You roll two. Two.
too. Um, animal kingdom. What is an omnivore? A. Animals that do not eat vegetables. B. Animals that only eat vegetables. C. Animals that only eat fruits. D. Animals that eat plants and animals. I'd go for D because I know that herbivore is for vegetables and carnivore is for meat. Hey Google, what is an omnivore? According to Wikipedia, an omnivore is an animal that has the ability to eat and survive on both plant and animal matter. Yay. Obtaining energy and nutrients from plant and animal matter, omnivores digest carbohydrates, protein, fat, and fiber, and metabolize the nutrients and energy of the sources absorbed. Thank you. Hey Google, roll the dice. You got five. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? I'm supposed to pick wonders of nature, but I haven't had many chances with the science lab. So let's try the science lab. Is an astronomer someone who studies the universe? Astronomer? A. Yes, it is. Or B. No, it isn't. I'm going to say A. Yes, it is. Hey, Google. Is an astronomer... Astronomer? Is an astronomer someone who studies... <laughs> is an astronomer someone who studies the universe? On the website coolcosmos.ipac.caltech.edu, they say, astronomers are scientists who study the universe and the objects within it. I also found an answer to this question. Do astronomers study the universe? Do you want to hear it? No, thank you. Okay. Hey Google, please roll the dice. You rolled one. Culture land. Which continent is the biggest? A. Antarctica B. Africa C. Europe D. Asia Asia is quite big and it has some of the biggest countries so I'd say Asia but still the other ones are a bit tricky so I'd still choose Asia though Hey Google, which continent is the biggest? Asia. The surface area of Asia is 44,580,000 square kilometers. All right, Kate. If you get seven questions right, you will walk away with a free board game. Ah! Yay! There's some things that I didn't think I'd even know and some things I found out by myself with this game. It's quite easy and you can do it all by yourself and with family members. No, I'm losing brain cells. <laughs> it takes a bit of thinking skills and I cannot do it blindfolded. very proud and I'd love to say thank you to my my parents for supporting me through this um, really hard time and I'm very proud to be here today that's it I'm done and I have completed the board game challenge if you guys want your very own eight colors smart board game then go over to our website so you can get one or visit that YouTube to see the tutorial on how to play the game properly remember don't cheat. Don't forget to create, celebrate, and stay great. Bye! So this is Sibling Telepathy Challenge, okay? To see how strong the signal is between you and your brother. Shuffle the items. Alright. I'm scared. Your brother's second. <laughs> What did you do? I just... Same one. Watch this one. These are way too easy. Okay, ready?